Right. Now this is just a demonstration video. I've got uh, a client here with me who, uh, and he's having issues with a painful right arm. So uh, I've already done a couple of clearings within his right arm. So here I'm going to remove an entity that is causing pain in his right arm. So here we go. Okay. 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 Within the right arm, open all rooms and remove Popal and center ether, please. Within the right arm, open all rooms and access the popal, remove popal, center ether, please. Remove popal and center ether, please. Fuzzy or is it got leaves down? Yeah, no, it's fuzzy. Fuzzy? Mm. Okay. Okay, so by uh, pointing uh, this uh, particular sacred geometry tool uh, to the right arm, we're then intending, just using intention with the power of a uh, quantum energy tool, which is just using designs and shapes at structure, to remove an entity which is at an energetic level causing grief and causing pain within, uh, within Andrew's arm here. So also, you'll notice that he's got a, another sacred geometry tool between his feet. That's called a neutralization ring. And what we're doing, we initially, before working on his arm, uh, Andrew came to me with lower back pain. And what we did is we cleared out some negative energies from his uh, a disc in his lower spine, and his lumbar spine, as well as worked on his pelvis, using the neutralization ring just to remove any residual negative energies uh, and uh, and removing that and any pain that he's currently having in his back. So we'll just see what we need to do further on in regards to his right arm. Okay, what else do we need to do for the pain that Andy is getting within his right arm? What do we need to do now? Mm. So currently I'm just using an alphabet chart and spelling me out words. N nothing. Okay, so it's saying that uh, we've cleared out one of the main reasons of what was causing pain within the right arm. So I just go to another chart now and I'm just going to make sure that we've extracted the problem. Okay, so what do we need to do now for Andrew in regards to the painful right arm? What do we need to do? Okay, now I'll get you to rotate the arm. Hope you're feeling that now. Um, it's good. Yeah, they were only where it sore it is. Yeah, I'll go like that. Okay, okay. What about out like that? It's a hyper extension. Uh, no, it's good. It's good. Is it still fuzzy at the moment? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, okay. So when I when I make a change and remove a frequency that's causing a problem in a particular part of somebody's body, the the energies will be changing over 24 to 48 hours. So quite often when I'm doing clearings with someone, uh, we're making a change there. But essentially what's going to heal the body is the body itself. We're just removing something that is causing the body to not do its job properly. Over the next 24, 48 hours, because we remove the stressor or a thing that was blocking the body doing its job and working optimally, now all of a sudden, in the next 24, 48 hours, the body's going to do its work. And, um, you know, Andrew's currently feeling uh, pins and needles type of sensation in the arm, uh, fuzziness in the arm, and that's just energy changes occurring at the moment, and, and this will continue. So let's just see what else we can do for Andrew in regards to his arm. 
Okay. Now when Andrew turns his arm, he's still in the inner part of the right elbow, right forearm, he's getting pain. When he turns, rotates the arm, what do we need to do? O P E and open open what? Uh, well, just do that. O O M. What are you feeling currently? It's um, just gone all completely numb. The arm? Yeah. Okay. Okay, open room. Where? I don't need to open the room. Uh, okay, right. A right arm to find what? Uh, e P T. Okay, reptilian. Correct. Y E S. Okay. Now, when it spells out open a room, it's essentially they're veiling themselves. Uh, part of this job of doing dowsing uh, and then to using uh, my pendulum is like detective work. That these particular negative energies or entities, they don't want to know that they exist. That's why there's so much taboo in regards to you talk to people about entities or anything like that or extraterrestrial life. People essentially roll their eyes at because... The way that these beings work, work because we can't visually see them, or some people can actually, they have the ability to see them. But for the majority of us that can't see them because they live in a, a dimension or a frequency that is beyond the bandwidth of our visual sight. Now, and they still veil themselves, so they're, they're hard to find. So what I'm going to be doing here is removing the veil, which in this uh, instance is opening the room. That's the intention that source has given me to do and we're going to remove uh, extraterrestrial entity called a reptilian so here we go okay right right arm out within andrew's right arm okay open all rooms and remove all reptilians and place and center ether please within andrew's right arm open all rooms within all muscular tissue nerve tissue subcutaneous tissue the entire right arm open all rooms remove all reptilians and center ether please Now, has that reptilian left the building? We're going to remove Y, E, S. Okay, what do we need to do now for Andy in regards to pain when he rotates his arm? The inner part of his right arm, elbow, what do we need to do? O, robot, C, C, U no T cult uh, ritual where from remove a cult ritual from where a uh, yeah. okay right so what we're going to do is remove an occult ritual now cult ritual comes in regards to black magic uh, voodoo those sorts of things which are uh, negative intention so People can use the power of sacred geometry and tension in a negative way. So therefore causing a health problem is the, is the opposite to what I'm doing. I'm using the same type of technology to remove a health problem. Okay, right, here we go. Okay, within, within Andrew's right arm, lift and remove all occult rituals and place them in ether, please. Within Andrew's entire right arm, especially within the inner part of the right arm, Lift and remove all occult rituals 
and seen to eat the plates. What else do we need to do for the pain in the inner part of the right arm for Andrew in regards to when he turns his right arm? What do we need to do now? So turn your right, turn your arm again, Andrew. Yeah. How's it feeling now? That's good. Yeah. So let's say, what what would your pain be at the start? In that right arm, the start of the session, out of 10, 10 being the worst pain, 0 being nothing. What would you rate that? I'd rate that at an 8. Okay, what's it currently now? 6. Zip. So yeah. it's gone from 8 to 0? Yeah. Yeah. And how long have we been doing energy work on your arm for? Like, like this session? Um, 5 minutes, 10 minutes? Yeah, about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So anyway, I thought I'd do this video just to show you a demonstration uh, that it's quite powerful. This, even though uh, you know anybody just walking off the street and seeing this, it's very unusual looking. You know, how can I'm not even touching the client? I'm just using my words, my intention. I'm finding out what's there uh, through intuition, using a pendulum and connecting with source, finding out what the problem is, where the problem is using my intention with sacred geometry tools such as the Vesic Pisces here, using my intent with the, ampli the energy amplifying device that I have here, then all of a sudden removes at an energy level, at a quantum level, which is a very, very deep level within the body, that problem that's causing the pain. All of a sudden, the person will feel an energy change occurring, and then all of a sudden, um, you know, within minutes, that, that stress or that pain can be removed. So I thought I'd do that video about that uh, as a demonstration. Okay, thank you.